Hi. Look at you. Good to see you. Come on in. Come in. Okay. Sure, you just got here? Yep. Yeah. When I met you, you were working on a novel, and before that, a screenplay. Yeah. It's been five years, and I've been very patient. How's your book? Yeah, I haven't really had time to work on that. Your mom's been telling me that your girlfriend's book is coming out next month. A lot of our friends are writers. I'm breaking up with you. Therefore, I'm free to do whatever I want. Can you just wait for things to get better? Nathan, your dad had a stroke. Your mom's got Alzheimer's. It doesn't get any better. Mom, I don't think you're supposed to microwave plastic. Why not? Uh, cancer, maybe? We don't worry about cancer, are you? I need somebody here. Well, what else do you have to do, right? What made me love your mother is the way she talks about her kids. I asked Dad if I could borrow some money. Dad started yelling. Mom started yelling that I was upsetting Dad. What's happened while I was in the shower? Oh! Oh! Stop it! Stop it! I'm going to need more and more help. He's so scared. He doesn't want you to know. Your mom and dad were happy because of you. Well, you haven't made any major commitments, so you haven't made any big mistakes. If you think I don't want to hear it, why are you writing about it? Mom? Hi, honey. You're a long way from home. I am. Look, she's a famous writer. She published an novel. Anything. You know what? Look around the F train during rush hour. I bet you there's a ton of people cramped in that car, and five of them have published books. They're just as uncomfortable and irritated as everybody else. Hello, hello you still there? If you ask me out, I'm gonna say yes. Can you just do me a favor and take a moment and just, just think about it, okay? Good night, boys. Good night, Good night Mom. Mom.